everyone, Jacqueline here. So today I am gonna put in some zinnia seeds and I'm putting some jumbo ones in here and I'm putting them behind the potentillas and in front of the hydrangeas and these are panicles and they are actually starting to get some sprouts on them, some buds. So that is really good. I also have some weeds in here that, well, don't look at them too much. So I'm gonna run these zinnias just in a row right along here as a start to get some things going and this bed is really dry so i'm gonna have to water but over here which is quite cute you can see some little violas are coming up and they're just wild so let's get these That's in. done they're all covered over now these are the state fair zinnias these are a giant zinnia i grew them last year along my sidewalk and they were huge and they were perfect for bouquets so I'm really excited to put these in. I do use some standards still because I like the variety of colors because they're coming in your reds and your yellows and just everything you can imagine. And they're gonna be super high. Now last year, these ones got waist high. They were impressive and they germinate in five to seven days. And they're gonna bloom from July right through frost. So zinnias are one of those reliable plants that work well in my landscape. So I'm excited to put a whole bunch in here. I'm a little disappointed in this bed. I do not see any hollyhocks coming up at all that I planted last year. So that might be a wash. For whatever reason, they don't seem to like it. But I'm going to put some water on here and give this a good soak. Things are starting to bud, but so are the weeds. In particular, gout weed is my problem. But I will soak this down and then I will come in and add some more seeds. We have a really cool morning here. The smoke has dissipated and you can just see how the sky is so it's it's kind of unstable right now but um, it's a good day to plant because it's not too hot as long as I keep moving I'm not too cold so let's let's keep going so we've been having some really cold nights and it's been tough keeping the plants going so I've been putting them underneath the tables here and my coleus took a real hit last night it's dropping down to about four celsius tonight it's supposed to be even three so i've moved everything off the top of the table down and underneath because our weather's cold in fact i've got my winter coat on right now which you can't see well you can see right there winter coat because it is cold out here and i am cold even with a hoodie on so the plants are going to take a hit and i didn't want my dahlias to freeze um, but the ones that take the hit the most are the coleus so i've put them down here where they're safe but some of them are not looking good uh, what i have noticed is that the purple coleus the black dragon and chocolate can take the cold way better than the mixed but they're all down here including the callus now it's not going to go to zero but it's getting cold enough that the tomatoes and peppers are taking a hit too so i have them down here and i'm going to get a couple cloths and just cover them for the night because it's supposed to get warm again so we have two cold nights but it's doing damage and that's the problem is that the weather is totally unpredictable now i just want to show you you know how sensitive coleus is to the cold because it's a problem and this is a really good example look at what happened and that was like plus four and you can see like they're hurting so tonight we'll probably finish them and let's look what it did to the stalks so i need to give these a good drink as well and you can see the purple coleus over here didn't have any problem taking it so it's definitely the green the mixed green which i don't think i'm going to grow again because they're so sensitive to the cold um it's not worth it so that's one of the issues happening the geraniums the petunias they can all take the cold but the coleus cannot all in all things are doing okay even though it's cold out we got clematis coming up there this is jack jackmania i've had him for a very very long time i actually cut him right down to the ground and he's coming back we have more roses i believe these are chinooks in here coming up delphinium come up and there's actually black hollyhocks that have come back and i haven't had a lot of success with them over here i do see one of in this bed And of course, bleeding hearts and my climbing rose there, but not a lot of success here. So anyhow, that's how it's going out here. That's kind of where things are at. Lots of work required to do cleanup. I want to show you the kind of stuff I'm dealing with and what I need to do to get this bed looking good. And it's just a work in progress. I got to get all this grass out. It'll take me a day per bed, 
probably to clean out some of them a little bit longer because of how big they are. But all in all, there's hope. If the weather would warm up, it would be a lot easier. So let's hope that warms up and that we can tackle these this weekend and get some of them down so I can make some progress. So that's it for the video. I will see you in the next one. This is kind of short and sweet to give you an update because it's darn cold and I'm not planting um, tonight anything further because it's just really cold and I don't want to put anything out. So see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and um, let me know in the comments. How's your weather? Is it cold like us or are you enjoying some really nice climates and some good growth?